You know, personally, I like to have things as accurate as possible as to where they were when the vehicle was built. It's part of its charm and its history. Car enthusiast Roger Duddle has amassed the biggest collection of classic cars in Britain and quite possibly the world. I suppose it really kicked off back in 1968-69. Having made his fortune through inventing a successful ticketing machine, he embarked on a mission to preserve historical cars. As an engineer, I can look upon a motor car, in many cases, a three-dimensional car. It doesn't have to be an expensive motor car, it can be a very small motor car. Well, this is obviously the beginning of our reception area, and the door in front of me leads us into the ground floor of our Aladdin's Cave, or as some of my chums call it, you know, Dudding's Toy Cupboard. I suppose our collection on, a, on an average day is probably north of about 40 million. We have been offered astronomical sums of money for various of our cars. Roger boasts more than 350 vehicles in his collection and keeps them in a fully staffed, purpose-built facility on the outskirts of London. I used to do quite a lot of work on the cars myself. It's now got so large that time doesn't exist, so we now have a full-time, highly qualified motor engineer, not just a mechanic, he can make things. We aim that every three months, according to the weather, our cars will go out and be driven around the block, do about five or ten miles to keep all the oils moving, the suspension moving, etc. Uh, we also employ full-time a car cleaner, uh, which is a non-stop job for him. When he gets around to having cleaned the last one, it's time to start cleaning uh, the, the first one again. The collection features cars from as far back as 1911, from race cars predating the Second World War to limited edition luxury vehicles. Roger's collection truly caters to all motorheads. This little white single-seater racing car here, and it's got an Austin engine in it. So I phoned David Morgan, my chum who restored this and is this authority in written books on Austin motor cars. I said, David, I've just bought a little single-seater white racing car and it's got an Austin engine. There's the shell of a tortoise upon which is painted the face of a rabbit with big, uh, big whiskers. And apparently it's known as the White Rabbit. On the other end of the phone was, what? The White Rabbit, Austin? I said, yes, hell. The car's been lost for about 30 years. It's raced at Monaco. It's raced all over. The Aston Martin Wedge are gone. Do you love them or you hate them? And I'm now up to 24. And you probably have to be nutty to own one taken away to lunatic and I've got three or more, so I don't know where that positions me. As well as being an avid collector of cars, Mr Dudding also has an impressive array of motorbikes. Well, the collection we have here is, is mainly, mainly British motorcycles, and this is the only two-wheeled vehicle in the world permitted to be badged Bentley. But again, you have to be bonkers and nutty to buy these things, but to me it's just history. If people ask me my most valuable car, uh, then it's not monetary terms, it is strictly emotional. This is my late father's 1952 split windscreen Morris Minor. Roger rents out his incredible cars for filming and special events and his next project will see him build a £7 million state-of-the-art storage facility to house his ever-expanding collection. Are all the cars high-end? No. Um, to me, they're all high-end because I love them just as much as each other. 